Well, the Hawks' chase for a championship just got a lot harder. The Bucks took Game 5 in Milwaukee last night. It was a disappointing night, leaving the Hawks just one win, leaving the Bucks rather, just one win away from the NBA Finals. Well, Atlanta would need to win two straight games to make the championship. Which is difficult, but not impossible. And the question mark still surrounds the health of star Trey Young, who's missed the last two games. CBS 46's Emily Gagnon back from Wisconsin. She joins us in our studio ahead of Game 6 tomorrow night here in Atlanta. Emily, what's going on? Yeah, if the Hawks, they want to pull this one off and make a comeback, really. They have to, well, hope for a healthy or as close to healthy as you can get Trey Young the rest of the way. He hasn't played in two straight playoff games with right foot bone bruise. The last time he missed any games was the end of April. He sat out for four of them with a sprained ankle. Here's footage we shot before game five yesterday. It was right around 630. I thought Trey looked good, honestly. From my vantage point, he didn't look like he was in any pain. He wasn't hesitating when shooting, but interim head coach Nate McMillan told us Trey still doesn't feel comfortable. You know he has to be in some kind of pain to be on the bench. If Trey could play, he would uh, he would be out there, you know. So it's 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 both medical and Trey, uh, you know, uh, giving us feedback as far as uh, him being able to to play in the game. So it's it's uh, it's not anything that's long term. It's just uh, he uh, has had pain uh, that is not comfortable enough for him to get out there and feel that he can help the team. And Coach Mack, he told us last night Trey would be a game time decision for tomorrow's game, game six. Moments ago, we learned Giannis Antetokounmpo is doubtful tomorrow with a hyperextended left knee. The two stars, I mean, we just, so many questions, Tracy. Oh, absolutely. We are waiting with bated breath about Trey. Thank you, Emily.